You guys, this right here is a box of I don't know what that I just picked up off the side of the road this past weekend. So a lot of yard sales, if they don't sell everything, they will put the leftover things at the street, right? I have found some, you know, not the greatest things, but I've able, I was able to list them online and make a profit out of it. My most recent success sale was I found a brand new in the box, vintage, um, like women's electric razor. It was like one of the first, you know, like electric razors that they ever made, but it was brand new in the box and it was just sitting on the side of the road with a bunch of other stuff left over from a yard sale. So I listed it on eBay, competitively priced, um, cause there were a few others and it sold within a few days for $45, I think. So I turned $0 into $45. So now whenever I see, well, I always do take a look. Whenever there are free items along the side of the road, take a look. If you are a reseller, you can make some quick cash. So I will have the instructions up on the screen. Today we're going to do timestamps because as you can see, there's a lot of items in this box. I have no idea what's in this box. I literally just um, was driving down the road, saw a bunch of stuff on the side of the road that said free slowed down, saw a bunch of stuff sparkling in the sun, and pulled over and grabbed it. So um, timestamps in the email to me and a brief description of the item so I make sure to invoice you correctly. Uh, sometimes the timestamps you guys give me are not correct, so the brief description um, is very important. Um, and then make sure you're checking the sold list in the comment section, go out of the video, come back in so it's refreshed and you can see the most up-to-date list. Okay, so like I said, I have no clue what's in this box. I kind of just peeked and said, okay, there's a couple things that look good. We'll give it a whirl for free. So let me move this out of the way. I'm going to put it on the floor because there's no other space for it. And then we're going to get into it. So let me grab a handful. It does look like there's, you know, other things in here besides jewelry. So... I'm going to attempt to get out a handful without a ton of stuff getting stuck to it, which that is what happened. So I'm going to try to, okay, got it. All right. So see, I don't do that. Like I don't put, I don't leave the leftover stuff. I actually go bring it to like a church thrift shop or somewhere to be donated um, so then like the church can resell it and get some money for it. But look at this right off the get. So this is, this might be real, uh, tortoise shell. Um, it feels like it usually real tortoise shell is very hard and not very pliable. And, um, I mean, this might be, it looks very small though. I don't know how anybody's wrist, I don't even know if I could get my wrist in here. Oof, it's. Definitely a little tight. Um, these can go for, you know, yeah, a good amount, but not anything too crazy. It is only a six inch. Um, so I'll do this for, I don't know, let's do it for six bucks. Um, I will have crafting. So like this will go into a craft lot for a dollar. So if anybody wants any of the craft items, they are a dollar. Um, this is just a little chain, ball chain. Actually, that might be, this, this could be sterling. I don't see any markings on it, though. It could also be aluminum. So, um, let me give you a length on this, because aluminum is not magnetic. It's eight inches. I'll just do, um, two bucks on that. Trying to get stuff that's not all tangled up. All right, so this, let me move this over. I kind of can't see, okay. So like something like this, I'm gonna just put into crafting as well. Um, it looks like maybe something handmade, so it will just be a dollar. 
What was that that I just had? I had this, okay. So yeah, this is just a little stretchy necklace maybe that's gonna go into craft. So maybe somebody can repurpose those, you know, elements into something else. Um, okay, trying to get this out. So this I think literally just broke right now. So that'll go into craft. These are, oh, they actually might be real. No, okay, so um, crafting for that. Like something like this, we'll put that into craft. This is broken, but this is another faux pearl necklace. Um, it just, it has a whole other side to it and it was two strand. So we will craft that piece as well for a dollar. What's this big thing? So this is a Liz Claiborne um, hair tie. That's, I mean, that's pretty nice. It's a little, it's a little jacked up, but you just gotta fix it up a little bit. Um, I'll do that for two dollars. Um, that's gonna go in craft for a dollar. Oh, this looks nice. I don't think I see any maker marks though. And it looks like it would be C C C J. Maybe. It is magnetic. It's in very good condition. It's a size seven, seven inch, but you know, the um, engraving kind of it's making gonna make it a hard sale, but we'll do five on it. Oh, this looks nice. Ooh. What is this? What brand is this a brand? Because this looks nice. And I mean that looks nice. But I don't see any markings. This looks like maybe um not adventuring the other one. I want to see if maybe this comes up on a Google search because this looks nice. Um, no, of course not. Hmm, all the Chan Lu ones are coming up. So let's see, let's maybe look up um, wrap bracelet with horse toggle. No. No. All right, well, I don't really know, but this looks really nice. I mean, this is definitely leather. So if you guys know this brand, because there's no markings on it elsewhere, and you can probably wrap this around three times, two or three times, um, 21 inches or 22 inches. So this is in really nice shape. So let's do this for $10. That's probably a steal of a deal. Oh, look at this, jingle bells. <laughs> so that'll just go into craft for a dollar. All right, this is like all one piece. All right, well this we can put into craft. This looks like a necklace. Kind of weird that the clasps are at the sides here, like that. 
but it's pretty cool. These are all acrylic pieces and a very lightweight gold tone chain. It is an 18 inch drop and we'll do that for $5. All right, let's see what this is, because this is very large. This might be coming with this, because this is very entangled with this. So this is a St. Jude, so it comes with a pendant. And the little cross. Oh, it's a rosary, sorry, rosary. It is acrylic and you're going to get this necklace with it because it's all tangled up in there. Nothing on this little hang tag. So all together we will do $4 on that. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Love is love. Gold tone brooch. That's in good shape. So let's do that for five. That's really pretty. Here is a leather braided bracelet. It definitely is real. Oh look, Fa Fiaci Italy. Oh wow. So this just needs to be cleaned up. Let's look that up on eBay. Fiaci um, leather bracelet. Look at that. Okay, so I'll try to clean this up as best as I can. And let's see what the length is, seven inches. I don't know how good I'll be able to get it, so I'll only do um, six bucks on it. Craft. Look, um, these are barrettes that you can like glue stuff onto and you know craft with. So that's pretty cool. I think there's four in here, four or five, and we'll do that for $2. Crafting. It's a cute little um, ring. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. It is adjustable. Okay, that's pretty neat, little uh, elephant. Right now it's sitting at a seven and a half, but like I said, it is adjustable. So let's do that for $4. There's another craft item. This we'll hang on to for the mate. This is a long silver tone necklace with these black acrylic rings. And it is a drop of 20 inches. I'll do that for five. Here's a single earring. We'll hold on to that. Don't really know what this is about, but we'll do that for $4. And let's grab some more. Dropping everywhere. Okay. Okay. Let's try to get something that's not all stuck. Okay, so we got this bracelet, silver tone with these um, faceted. It's from Forever Twenty One. Um, it seems to be an okay shape. It is a seven and a half, and we'll do that for five. Oh, wow, look at that. So this is silver tone of blue rhinestones. A little bit of wear on the back. I don't see any maker marks. Clamper bracelet. Wait, does it close properly? And it is a seven inch. We'll do that for $5. All right, let's see if we can get some of these plastic beaded necklaces out of here that we're going to put into craft. I might have to cut 
yeah, I might have to cut these so it'll be easier to um, get them separated. And these kind will not, you know, go all over the place, so that's good. So this will be in crafting for a dollar. I think I'm gonna back out just a hair. There's a lot of these plastic, I don't really know what they are, but they're going into craft. Okay, this got all tangled. All right, so that's going into craft. hold I'm going to cut this one as well so that's craft I'm gonna cut this one too because I can't get it untangled quick enough uh oh I hear keys so here's that one into craft Look, oh geez, I hope somebody didn't put these in the box on accident and now they're missing the key, their keys. Ay, ay, ay. All right, well, I'll put those on the side. So I don't know what that is. That's going into craft. Um, we have a set of rainbow colored um, rubber bracelets they will go into actually they're they're new on the on the thing we'll do those for two bucks so kind of cool crafting for a dollar this looks like another wrap bracelet but it's not really in good shape so we'll put that into craft for a dollar This is all tangled, tangled. What do you know? Tangled. All right, that looks like a rock, so we're just gonna put that into craft. Here is a gold tone chain, but it's gotta be reattached. The class has to be reattached, so that'll be a dollar in the craft. We have a watch. I don't know if that's dirty or if that's missing, but there is some wear. That looks like it says Sheffield. Ooh, it's got some significant wear. The chain is really cool though. So it's got some wear to it. Um, it is really cool. It looks like it was pretty expensive at one point. So let's do that for $4. We have a little silver tone necklace with a little green rhinestone. That's super cute. That one is an eight and a half inch drop. Let's do that for $4. We have a copper tone and blue stretch bracelet, $2. This is a pink ball chain with a little gold tone heart. Cute. It is a 13 inch drop and I will do that for $4. This is pretty. So this is faux pearls and green. Very pretty. It looks like it was maybe ripped or something, so we'll just put that into crafts because I don't really know. One dollar. One dollar holler. All right, here's a chain that's been getting caught on everything, and there's no jump ring on the end. Um, 
which isn't really a terrible thing, tar a hard fix. I don't see any, oh wait, maybe I do see a mark on this. What, wait, hold on. What does that say? Does that say 14K? 14K EX? No way. No way, Jose. All right, let's get the testing stuff out. No stinking way. Let's get a nice good scratch. Scratch looks good. Let's test. Wait, that's the clasp. Clasps, uh, spring ring clasp will always be magnetic because of the spring inside of it. Um, but the rest of the necklace is not magnetic. Oh, Lordy Lord. Let's see what we got. Oh, guys, I think we have 14K here. But there's no jump ring on the end. So I do have jump rings, but... They are not 14K. I have gold tone. Um, so if you know you don't mind the jump ring on the end being just gold tone, you're not really gonna be able to tell, but if you're allergic to non-precious metals, it probably will irritate your neck. I think we have 14K here. Holy moly, this is awesome. It probably broke, and they were probably like, ah, screw it. I'm not going to, you know, pay to fix it. All right, so I think we're positive for 14K right here. Oh, my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, so, like I said, I can put a regular gold tone um, jump ring on the end so you can close it. You can probably, you probably don't even need one. Let's see. Yeah, so you can, you don't need the jump ring, but if you want a jump ring, I can add one on in gold tone. Just let me know. Um, so let's see. I'll show you guys how I kind of figure out a price on this. Um, it's a 12 and a half inch drop. So this will be great as a unisex piece as well. Um, you can wear it as just a chain or, you know, put a pendant on it. It's up to you. So what I do is I get my little scale here. We're going to weigh it. And then we're gonna go look at the scrap value, which is not, um, you know, what somebody would charge. It's just like um, an, estimate, an estimate on how much you would get if you were to go bring it to a jeweler to scrap. So this is 5.06 grams so 5.06 so goldcalc.com and it is 14k oops sorry i'm not in the screen and then you're going to do calculate so if i was to go to the the jeweler right now they would not give me 180 dollars because they need to make money on it too they would probably give me like a hundred right hundred Maybe more, maybe less, depending on if you have a relationship with your jeweler. Um, so I will offer this to you guys at $75, okay? I'll give you guys an even better deal than scrap and do $75. Otherwise, I'll probably end up listing it on eBay for around $150, okay? Okay. So definitely, um, you know, jump on this because that's a really good deal. It's basically half price from what I would list it as. So that's awesome. I'm so excited about that. Wow. I mean, who would have thought? All right. So now this, this kind of looks like it could be Bakelite. Maybe. Um, and these are all really nice shells. And then I'm wondering if this is... Sterling. Mm. Maybe not. Let's see. 
No, it's magnetic. All right, so let me just get the semi-chrome so I can see if maybe we have Bakelite, which I'm going, I'm going to assume no, but we can check. I don't have any um, Q-tips in here right now, so we're just gonna use a little piece of paper towel. Semi-chrome will test for uh, Bakelite, so it comes out pink. Uh, that's, the, you know, the black is from the outside, so don't mind that. And if it is positive for Bakelite, the pink will turn um, like a yellow to dark yellow. And it will not hurt the Bakelite, so you can do it, you know, wherever you would like. Okay, no. So it's not Bakelite. That's okay. It doesn't hurt to check. So really cool necklace either way. And I'll give you guys a total length on this. It's 18 inches. Very cool necklace, and let's do that for $10. All right, this, I might have to turn off the camera for so I can get through this. Ooh, this looks like sterling. Ooh, okay, so let's look at that first since I just got it out. It is a box chain. If it is sterling though, I will be keeping it because I am in desperate need of sterling chains. Yeah, 925, okay. So, awesome, so exciting. Sorry guys if anyone wanted this, but I need chains. I have a lot of pendants that need chains, so I'll be keeping that. But that's awesome, gold and sterling so far in a box for free. It's amazing what people will throw out when they're completely done with it, right? And just over it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to untangle, I mean, unclasp this. Ow, that does not go down. Yeah, that is stuck. Oh, but we just got it anyway. All right, so this clasp is stuck. That just hurt my finger, look. So, but it is marked Avon, and it comes, oh, it's missing a thing. Okay, never mind. so that's, um, crafting for a dollar and then we got this stretchy so this is pretty cool oh this is Aaliyah Sophia okay um this is pretty so you got like the off-white enamel and uh some pave rhinestones everything's there silver tone it is stretchy but it sits at a size seven so let's do that for five bucks all right let's grab some more there's definitely like a lot of random things in here, like like these I'll pull out. <laughs> oh, well this is leather, so that's cool. It's a little like card wallet, per fine personal leather goods. So you got the, and it looks brand new, so you got card slots here, you got card slots here. And then you have the spot here in case you want to put like cash or coin. Wow, that's cute. So let's do that for $8. And then we got this. What's this? The Manhattan Savings Bank of New York. So this is for keys. And what is this spot? Oh, this opens up too. You can put little coins in there if you want. I don't think this is leather though. That's pretty neat. We'll do that for five. This is a fun little box so far, huh? Too bad I missed their yard sale. I bet you it would have been pretty sweet, huh? So this is all jacked up, so we're gonna put that into crafting. That's craft. That is craft, that's a carabiner, but it's all missing paint and whatnot. This is craft. There's missing paint on those beads. Um, what is this? What is this, like a bike chain? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> so it looks like we have, this was probably a necklace or something, who knows. Um, I think it'd be pretty cool for someone to repurpose this into like a bracelet or necklace, so that'll be a dollar. Um, what else? Magic. This will be a dollar. 
um, a dollar. <laughs> oh, cute. Hold on, let me get this untangled because this is a cute little alligator keychain. How sweet is this guy? With the long tassel. Very cute. Somebody definitely handmade this. Very cool. We'll do him for two bucks. All right. This big mama jama. Look at this thing. That could definitely be a weapon. It's missing a clasp. I can put a clasp on it. That's not a problem, but it does need to be cleaned up up here. Um, otherwise, it seems like it's in good shape. You can technically wear it either way if you want just the plain or the textured side, but very cool necklace. It's a about an eight inch drop, so that's gonna be a nice collar necklace. Very cool. Um, I'll do that for six bucks. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's missing all its inserts. Coop. This probably would have been really nice. No markings though. So one dollar in crafting. Come on. All right, well, what's this? Oh wait, oh no, this, this is the earring we already found. It, it hooked it from up there. <laughs> There's no maker mark on this, so this whole thing will be craft. And let's dig in for some more. We have some more random items. It looks like there's like an eye glass case down there, so let's grab that. Roll away earring. Wow, looks like there's might be some inter interesting stuff down here. Okay, what's in here? I'm scared, okay. So there's um, lenses in here. One orange set and one um, yellow set, but there's no glasses. So I'm not really sure, and I don't really know what that says. G-M-I-T-H. Oh no, S maybe, Smith? I don't know, um, two bucks. Piece, but there is something in here. Oh, wait. Oh, it's like a little um, like banner, like you hang it. That's kind of cute. Um, it's possibly, maybe it's piece in, in a lot of different languages. Something, maybe. Definitely um, Israeli, some of it. So that's kind of cute. Um, I'm not going to put it away right now, but we'll do five on that. We have a little um, hair clip, like a burlap hair clip in a, in a flower. We'll do that for three dollars. Oh, look at this. That's a 925 earring right there. So we'll see if we have the mate. We have more of these. So what I do on these, I forgot. Crap, I don't remember. Four bucks, I think I said. We have a little, this little dude. No idea. MPG on the back. I don't know, two bucks. Crafting. Crafting. Swatch, okay, so Swatch actually can resell for quite a bit. Um, this one has a crack in it, but um, and it's kind of really discolored, but let's just see if anything comes up because I've sold swatches that I've bought for like a dollar or two because they're all plastic like this. They resell for sometimes over $100. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it came right up. So um, there's one listed on Poshmark right now for $25. And it looks pretty uh, discolored. <laughs> so I'll have to see if I can change the battery. Because that should be right here. 
And if it works, I'll have to see if I can get it listed or if one of you guys are interested. If I can get it working, I'll do $10 on it. This is interesting, Is I don't think it's sterling. Hmm. It quite, uh, I mean, I don't really know, let's see. I mean, the scratch looks pretty good. Oh Lord, look at that. This whole thing is sterling. That needs a really good polishing job though, that's for sure. And it's funny, it's not marked anywhere, so I bet you they didn't even know that it was sterling. Oh, it is marked, look. Right there. SS Sterling. What, what? <laughs> All right, so I don't know if anyone's interested in it. They're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to do some major polishing on this, but I will do this for $12. Nice. All right, this is gonna go into crafting. $1 hauler, crafting and crafting. And what's this? This looks cool. So this is plastic, but it's a magnet, and you can maybe Put a picture on there, glue it on there or something. Kind of cool, I don't know, two bucks. Good stretch on this, black and silver tone, three bucks. All right, let's grab some more. Oh, I just poked myself with an earring. Whoa, you guys, look at that. This is definitely horn. And I think this was maybe a hair thing. Maybe it had like elastic through here. Whoa, this is beautiful. I bet you one of you guys can repurpose this into something awesome. Um, this is probably super expensive. Actually, well, maybe not. Let's, let's just do, see if we can do a Google search. No, it comes up with all shells. Um, let's see, we, maybe we can do horn hair, hair tie, I don't know. No, not for like Halloween. Natural horn, no. I don't know, guys. So uh, we'll just do five bucks on it because, you know, I got the box for free. So we'll do a good deal. Five bucks. That's pretty cool. But this is all peeling right here. So that'll just, it says Japan, U.S. patent. So I'll just be a dollar and craft. This guy's cool. Wait, wait, wait. What, is, what does this do? Wait, hold on. Oh, my God. What's in there? I don't know what that is. Oh my gosh, it smells. <laughs> it doesn't smell bad. It smells like, like incense maybe. Dallas, there's nobody here, honey. What the heck? Okay, hang on, because now there's people Sorry. outside. Um, I live on the corner of a main, a very main street, and there's two people on motorcycles that pulled over and are talking, so Dallas is, like, going nuts. Okay, so anyway, back to this. This is, ve <laughs> this, this is very weird. Um, I don't know what's in there, but I did, while I was, while he was trying to calm down, I did look this up, and this is... Uh, made in India. It's an elephant box. Um, I don't really think you can fit a ring in there, but this one is listed for $22 plus $9 shipping. Jeez Louise. Um, okay, so I think this is really, really, really cool. Um, 
I will offer this to you guys for 20. Um, and you know, you might have to clean out the inside, but I think that is absolutely so cool. All right. And then this was what I saw like glistening in the sun. <laughs> so this is really cool. I don't see any stones missing. I don't see any, um, maker marks though so let's just see maybe we can do a google image search all right so there are a few listed for about 11 bucks so i will do this one it's in really great shape i will do this one for six dollars very pretty it's got gray purple clear like a yellowish very pretty this is a glass stretch bracelet, uh, very pretty, like cranberry. We'll do that for five. <clears throat> this is a little uh, like ceramic pin, I guess. We'll do that for two dollars. Little stretchy. We'll do that for a dollar. Um, crafting. That's all beat up, so we will do that for a dollar in crafting. Oh, look, is this another little animal? Oh, it's a person. It's like a little girl. How cute. Oh, I hope, you know, like the little girl that lived at this house didn't make all these and try to sell them and nobody was buying them. Aw. So this is like a little little girl keychain. That's cute. I forgot what I was doing with the other one. I think I said $2. We'll do that for 2 Another bell, a dollar. I know Dallas, I know, but they're outside. They're not they're not in our yard, honey. Um, this will be a dollar. Um, this is broken, so a dollar for the both. Oh, look at this little dude. That's cute. These little clay piece. We'll do that for a dollar. Oh no. Oh no. Look at this. This is definitely sterling. Probably native that broke. Poop. Alright, well that's that's scrap. Um this is glass. Green. We'll do that for two dollars. Not stretchy. Oh, we got a meat. We got meats. So this. I mean, we can check the ear wires. Let me just get this situated so I can look at look at it properly under the loop loopity doop doop. Hmm. Don't know what that mark would be. No, I don't really see anything. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, these are a little bit bent up, so I'll just do them both for a dollar. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, pretty. All right, let's um, turn on Pressy for those stones. Wait, stop it. Stop it right now. What do you say? Why can't I read that? I hate looking at rings under the loop. It's so hard to get in that crevice. I can't see what it says. Um, yeah, I have no idea. But it's not gold. <laughs> All right, so let's look at... This might be nephrite. Um, I don't know what that is. These are the little clear ones. Glass. Um, not sure. So it is what it is. Um, it might be like a high grade electro plate, but it's in pretty good condition. It's a bigger size, this is a 12, but it's very pretty. So let's do that for $8.
I see this poking out. Oh man, but it's missing a stone. Look at that setting. How cool. You guys, stop it. Stop it right now. Where did I just see that mark? Look at that. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm gonna, I'm losing it over here. Can you tell? All right. This is gonna have to just go into my scrap because I don't have, you know, any way to get a st Oh wait, am I doing the right one? I'm doing the wrong one. That was 14K. But it's holding, which is weird. Here's 10K. Oh, it is kind of going away, okay. Yeah, we got ourselves some uh, 10K. It is like a little bit messed up, but you know what? Um, I don't know if anyone would, would want it to put a stone in it because it's really pretty. It is very heavy. Dolly, please stop, honey. They're not, they're not here. There's nobody here, baby. Okay, so this is a 10 and a half. It is absolutely stunning. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the scrap value on this, if anyone's interested. So this one is um, 6.16 uh, grams. So we're back to the gold calc and we're gonna do start over and we're gonna do enter weight 6.16, 6.16 grams and this is 10, whoops, this is 10 carat. Whoops, geez Louise. 10 carat, estimate. Look at that. So if I was to bring this to my jeweler right now, he'd probably only give me about 100, maybe less, depending on how much he likes me, because <laughs> he needs to make money on it too. So um, I know this doesn't have a stone, but if anyone would be interested in this, I would do 50. All right, 50. Otherwise, I am going to scrap it, okay? That is beautiful, oh, I love it. Okay, now let's look at these little guys. What are these? They're not magnetic. I don't see any marks on, on these. Um, I'm just gonna put those to the side. We'll do it research on it more later. I just feel like I'm I'm taking forever here. So we got uh this doesn't work, so a dollar on that. Look at this, what's this? Oh, what is that? Oh my god, it looks like there was a cameo in here. Alright, let's hold on to this because it looks like there was a cameo or something in set in here. So let's just hold on to that. Maybe it's somewhere in the box. If not, we'll revisit it later. Uh, $1 on that. Uh, what does it say? Galapag Galapagos? Jeez Louise, $1. Um, we have a chain, no idea, $1. Single earring up there we'll hold on to. Oh, that would have been cool. Whatever this went to, this is really old. Look at this velvet. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God, is that hair? <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I, I, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. What the heck is this? You guys, <laughs> um, I feel like this was maybe part of some kind of mourning thing. Oh, Lord. Oh, gosh. Um, whew, that just definitely freaked me out. Um, I don't know if anything would come up on a Google image search, but let's see. Yeah, look. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, so 
What I'm guessing is that the other side had the photo of the person and then this side kept the hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, look, I'm all about the ephemera, but when I was not expecting it like that, that just scared the bejesus out of me. So yeah, I mean, look at this. Victorian Gouda Percha case. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I mean, it's scary, but it's awesome. Okay, I don't want to join anything except the cookies. Fine. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, oh my gosh. So Gouda Percha is a type of wood. So this is actually probably very expensive just by having the one side and I don't know if somebody um if this got damaged or what happened if I don't know why because look how they're all sealed um holy crap this is so cool see look at how expensive this is I don't know if I'd be able to get any kind of um you know money since there's no picture part of, part of it and this is damaged but wow so I will do some research on this and probably just list it on eBay myself unless um, you guys I don't know if you guys would be interested in it at all um, if you are I would I would let this go for fifty dollars five zero whoa 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 okay that threw me for a loop I apologize but holy moly all right, let's look at what this is. All right, we're stuck on something here. This might be part of it. I don't know. Nope, maybe not. <laughs> it's glitter all over it. Okay, so it's not part of it. But, I mean, that's pretty interesting. I don't know what that says. Okay, well, let's do another Google image search. Oh my gosh, that really just, what a box. All right, so I don't really see. All right, so this will just do um, $5 on it. I don't know what it says. I don't know anything about it. Ooh, this feels like real fur. Um, it's a little pin. It's kind of in the in a, like a swirl shape. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but this is definitely real fur of some sort. So um, I'll do um, 10 on that. I'm like still like a little freaked out. Okay, so all this will be a dollar each. A uh, dollar. Oh, wow. That's br These are broken, but... This is an old 1900s with a C clasp. Oh my gosh, I'm just still. I don't see any markings. I don't really think that this is. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's not gonna be magnetic. Is it amber? don't know it is glowing look at that can you see the green okay it is broken though these leaves are broken off these two and it looks like there might have been one here so um and then there's something going on with this one so i will just do this one for five dollars as is uh, i don't know what's going on here either Oh, it looks like it's a adjustable ring. That's really pretty. Look at that. Don't see any markings inside, but this is definitely old. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Um, wow. <laughs> Let me get the gem tested. If it's anything special, I'll show you guys. 
They're a glass, at least. Oh, geez, Louise. Do we maybe have some more gold? This might be brass, though. Actually, <laughs> that kind of looks like gold. Let's do 10 carat. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. This is absolutely beautiful, you guys. Like, look. Like, look at this. <laughs> All right, so it is disappearing. I don't think it's 10K. So then it's probably not going to be 14K then if it ate through the 10K, but we'll just, just we'll just see. Nope, okay. So it might just be brass, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And it might be from the Victorian era. Um, let's see if maybe we can do a little, let me get my ring stand. It could even be a lower quality, a lower carat gold. It could be like um, eight or nine carat even because it did hold the 10K for um, a little bit. So um, this is, wow, this is beautiful. So it's sitting at about a six. I honestly wouldn't bend this too much because this is just too beautiful the way it is. Um, so I'm gonna offer this to you guys for 20. I think that is absolutely stunning. Wow. Wow, wow. And then look at this piece. What is this? This is all scratched up. All scratched up and peeling. Maybe a hat, a hairpin. So we'll just do that for a dollar. Okay. That looks like sterling. So we'll do that. This one for a dollar. This for a dollar. That for a dollar. This for a dollar, that for a dollar, that's a dollar, and all that is a dollar. So a dollar each on all of that. That will see if we, there's a mate for it. That will see if there's a mate. This is a little maybe wood ring. It's very beat up, so we'll put that for a dollar. This stuff we will throw out it's just some paper all right there's some bigger pieces in here so I'm gonna get those out I'm scared to open that all right that's all the big pieces oh look at that all right so that oh that's a mirror so we'll do that for two bucks that's a big uh, keychain ring. We'll do that for a dollar. That, oh, th you know what this looks like? You put your chair on this or your bed, you know, and, it, and it, it protects the floor so you can, like, move it around. So that's just trash. Okay. I was a little nervous to open that, but it's there's nothing inside. It is not really in the best condition, um, so I don't know if anyone would still be interested in that. It's kind of grody, so we'll just do a dollar. Um, this guy, Afro Tech, not really sure anything about that. We'll do that for a dollar. This guy, I'm going to test. He is quartz. Nice big point there. So we'll do that for five. Let's grab some more. We're getting down to the itty bitty little pieces. Oh, look, here's another something. That's pretty cool. That's like mostly flat. That's actually coming up in the tourmaline line. That might be tourmaline. Do that for five as well. This maybe, I don't even know, dollar. I don't know what all this is. A dollar for that. That's just broken. These are just broken pieces from something. 
so that's just garbage. Here's more bead creations. This one looks like a butterfly. That's cute. Two bucks on that. We have a little frosted hair clip, dollar. The best of friends ticket, <laughs> dollar. Um, this is all jacked up, dollar. Christopher Jesse and John Robert. And it does say that these are sterling. Ooh, oh my gosh, is this sterling? <gasps> you guys. Yep. Sterling. Honestly, I would take these charms off and then you have a really cool, like almost barbed wire style bracelet if I can figure out how to open it. See, isn't that cool? So let's test it. Do, 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 do. This is the coolest box ever. <laughs> All right, it is definitely sterling. Very cool. So there's a lot of sterling here. Um, I'm going to put it back together because it kind of has this like... Um, like shape to it see how the the panels are kind of shaped so this is seven inches and you'll get the charms with it seven inches and i'll do this for 20 bucks you have a little uh, adjustable ring we'll do that for a dollar a dollar They are acrylic, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, adjustable ring. That was over there already. So this is gonna be a dollar, it's broken. All this dollar. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh man, this was part of a bracelet or a necklace. Missing all the stones basically. So we'll do that for a dollar. All right, I think it's gonna get to the point now where I might have to start just dumping it on the table. Try this for now and then we'll dump the rest on the table. Dollar. All of these will be a dollar each. Ticket for good for hugs and kisses. That's cute. Dollar. This little kitty cat, little pin, doing for two bucks. I bet you this was one of those sweetheart bracelets. Dollar. Here's more of that broken necklace. Dollar. I'll give you all the pieces for a dollar. Any of these will be a dollar total. Missing a stone, but that's really pretty. Wait, it says something. What? Henry Bendel. What, what? So this one would have been a blue, unless you have a really big... Do I have? Oh, and it's missing one there. Oh, but it doesn't close. Wait, why not? All right, a dollar. It's pretty cool, though, Henry Bendel. Live. Dollar. I don't know what that is. Dollar. All right, let's just start pulling. Dollar. Let's just start pulling all the dollar stuff. 
We'll take a look at that in a second. Jeez Louise. Um, K, K and K S. It's Kyle's initials. Um, what's this? Continental currency. I don't know. A dollar. A dollar. A dollar. A dollar. A dollar. All right. All this. All these like littles. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. We'll see if there's a mate for that. What's this? Oh, they're all jacked up. All these littles are just gonna be, I don't know, we'll have to figure something out. We'll do two for a dollar, that's broken. Uh, that's another broken piece. All right, let's get this off the table. We have these little plastic guys. will be two bucks. Go Captain. Be a dollar. I don't know, a dollar. Ew, that's probably garbage. Dollar. We'll see if there's earrings that match those. That's really pretty. That's adjustable. Oh, it is. What does that say in there? This way. Yunka's Manufacturing. I've never heard of that before. Let's do that for five. It is adjustable. Ooh, that's blinged out. Missing some dollar. That's kind of gross. All right, all this stuff, I don't even know. All right, now this. It's like a little stretch bracelet, but it's teeny tiny. I don't know, so I'm just gonna put that on the side. I'll have to do more research. All right, now trying to get the rest of this out of here is probably gonna be a little hard. Um, so I don't wanna just dump it because I feel like there's beads that are gonna go all over the place. dead bee in here. Poor thing. What happened to you, little guy? Alright, I think that's everything. Just looking underneath the box flaps. Okay, we are good to go with that that's on the table. See, look, we have another little, you guys, I'm going to, I'm going to flip out. Look at this. What does that say? 14. <gasps> and this is old, old, old. This is probably Victorian with the pearls. OMG, you guys. All right, let's test this really quick. Ouch, that was my elbow. Owies. All right. So I think we're good. All right, so this one, um, let me see if anything comes up on a Google search. Oh, Art Deco. Yeah, I don't know if this is all exactly here. 
14 karat. Here we go. So, um, wow. Wowies. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this one. Let's go, let's zoom in a little bit so you guys can see all the, the pearls. I mean, it definitely needs to be cleaned up. There's no diamonds on this one. I can't believe this. Okay, so I'll do 100 on this if anybody's interested. 100. Wow. Wow, wow, wowies. All right. Um, this will be a dollar. This will be a dollar. <laughs> that little guy will be a dollar. <laughs> I see a couple crosses in here. These will be a dollar for the both. Um, dollar, dollar. If anybody wants, I mean, these are kind of really corroded, so I'm not even gonna, it's gross to sell. Um, Sweet 16, that says Sterling. Bay State of Massachusetts. That says Sterling on it too, the, in that little box. Now where's the clasp? Here it is. Oh, it does have a mark on it. Sterling. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so crazy. I don't know if that's going to get a good reading, but we'll see. Okay, I do see blue flakes in there. I just didn't get a hard enough scratch, but I don't know if you can tell on the camera, there are a few blue flakes in there. Um, so I will sell it with all the, all the, you know, all the sterling charms. It is a six and three fourths length and I'll do 25 for all of it. Oh my gosh, you guys, like, look at this. That's definitely sterling. I don't see any marks. All right, let's start pulling out anything that needs to be tested because like, we're gonna start going through this. That's a dollar. Is this, that's probably glass dollar. I mean, I don't know what that is. Dollar, dollar. Live lucky, dollar, dollar. This is really cool. This is a shoe clip or dress clip for a clip, but it's missing a lot of the stones, so that's a dollar. <clears throat> like all this, I'm just gonna chuck because it's not even worth a dollar. But if anybody, that looks like sterling. You know, like if anybody wants any of this stuff, these are single earrings right here. Um, you know, I'll just do like a bundle deal on some stuff. But a lot of this is like junk, is like junk you know. Oh, here's that other earring. Okay. I'm trying to see what we can just get rid of. No idea what that is. We'll take a closer look at that. That's glass. Oh, look, here's the other part of that ring. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so these are very heavy. This, this, and this are very, very heavy. I wonder if these are sterling. So we'll test those. Let's see what this is. This is um, adjustable, but I don't see any markings and it is um, uh, worn. So I'll just do that for 
three dollars. This is garbage. We have a oh that's pretty a little star tack pin. We'll do that for two bucks. Cloisonne ring. It's all jacked up on the inside though. It's a nine. Do that for two dollars. I don't know. A dollar. Ooh, I'm gonna hang on to this. This I think will sell well online. Um, if you're interested in it, just give me an email. We'll talk about it. Con Congressional SS, I don't know, I'm gonna do research on that. I have to hurry up and finish because I have to get, I'm recording this on Tuesday, so I have to get my Tuesday video up for you guys. Um, like some of this stuff I'm going to have to do research on, but if you're interested in any of it, just, you know, email me. We'll talk about it. That is, I'll just do a dollar on that. Here are those earrings. Oh, it's missing one. It's missing a strand. These I feel like might be gold because... They have a gold post. I'm not seeing any markings though. Nope, maybe not. Okay, so these will be craft because this one's missing a strand. So that'll be a dollar. We're gonna test that. That's a single earring. Single earring. We'll do two for a dollar on the singles. Look at this. Oh, I know what this is. Okay. So you guys had asked me for these when I was working for Swarovski. Um, so this is a um, piece that you would put onto a long necklace to make it a double strand. So I don't know if I have anything here. I'll just use the gold, the gold chain. So if somebody didn't want it this long, they wanted it doubled and shorter. So they would take this, put this through here like this, and then clasp it shut. And then they, obviously around your neck, you would do this, and then now you have a shorter necklace, okay? So that is awesome. Put that back over there. This I think is just gold tone. Oh gosh, it's not magnetic. I don't see any markings. I don't wanna have to test this because I am running out of time to get my video done. All right, we're gonna do 10K because if it eats through it, then it's not 14K. Oh my gosh, it's not eating through it. I've never seen, okay, it is eating through it. Okay, yeah, all right, it's just silver, I mean gold tone. It might be like a brass. Oh crap, I ran out of all of my paper towels. So let me get one of these. Then I could also rinse, wash my fingers off. All right, so for this we will do um, $5. That's a cuff link, but it looks like it's sterling, so we'll test that. It's a little owl. How cute. Here's the other strand to that earring. So this one, 
is just silver tone. Let's get a measurement on the little owl. Nine inches on the drop, and we'll do that for $5. Super cute. Um, that was probably the other cuff link. That says USO. I'll have to do research on that and that one. Okay, and that's, I think that's it. There's this, but that's just a little gold tone, little ring, so that's nothing. Um, and I'm going to do research on that. Okay, so let's um, test all these different things right here. So the horseshoe guy, even though he's missing his pin. Trying to get a good scratch. We'll do... Yeah, I mean, that says sterling right on the back, so that'll be the cuff link, and that will go with it, even though it's broken. We have the little Mickey diamond cut ring, and then we have the three balls. <laughs> These are so heavy, you guys. Yikes, that's not even... And then this one. All right, let's see. Okay, so these are not, so these are just gonna go into craft. But this one is, and so is the rest. Right? Or maybe not this one. I don't think so. All right, but the rest are sterling. Yay. All right, so just this little globe. Um, I'll do that for two bucks, not sterling. This is sterling, the little Mickey ring size six and a quarter we'll do that for 10. i don't know if anyone's interested in these cufflinks that are broken but i'll do those for five and the horseshoe i mean <laughs> seahorse that's missing his pin i'll do for five all right um this okay so this oh we forgot to test this um i'm just gonna scrap that this is, um, there's no mate to this guy, so we'll just do a um, dollar on that. Ugh, there was no mate to this sterling one, so if anyone's interested in just a single, I'll do um, five bucks. This guy I'm going to have to do more research on, and this I'm going to have to do more research on. Um, I, mm, I don't know if this would be gold. But this is really cool. I guess we can test it. And we'll do the 10 carat first. Hey, okay, so let's try 14K. The um, gold acids do take a little bit longer to work, so you definitely want to leave them on for a little bit longer than, you know, a couple seconds. See, that's kind of holding. Nope, maybe not. So maybe this is 10K or maybe something a little less because it did not hold the 14K, but it is holding the 10 so this could definitely be 10 karat gold all right that's gotta dry but i didn't see any markings so that's the tricky part with jewelry is it doesn't always have to be marked so i don't know if anyone would be interested in this um it like i said it might be missing a cameo Um, but I would do uh, $50 on it, five zero if anybody's interested.
All right, guys, that's everything. Holy moly, what did you guys think? I mean, <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't. Like, I just can't. This was amazing. Like I said, I wish I would have went to the actual yard sale because, I mean, who knows what they could have had, right? So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe right down here if you haven't already. Um, it's free. Here are the ordering instructions one more time. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next one.